Welcome back everybody. Today I'll be answering your questions you had on Instagram. Thank you very much for participating and let's get right to it. So someone wrote a word that uh, basically sounds a little like a greeting and uh, therefore I also say balsak uh, to you too. I hope I pronounced that correctly. What has an animal taught you about yourself? Ever since I can remember, animals really played a huge role in my life and I've learned so much over the years from them. Uh, the main part and the uh, most important one, however, is taking responsibility. Because uh, if I don't function, my animals would basically suffer from it and I cannot allow that. So I definitely have to work at least to some extent and uh, this really gave me heaps of opportunities and great value added to my life that I wouldn't want to live without. Do you see yourself as a pet tuber? I know right now it might seem this way uh, because I basically only ever talk about my reptiles that I keep at home. Um, however, this really is due to the circumstances right now. I basically have to work with what I have and traveling is not really in the cats. So, uh, but eventually everything is supposed to be more of like a documentary series and therefore the whole conservation part comes into play as well. Um, so yeah, I can only ask you to basically stay tuned and I'm definitely working on that this is going to be something that is quite different and yeah, it's going to be quite a journey. I hope that you enjoy taking with us and enjoy what we basically can present you right now me and my animals and thank you very much for staying with us anyways how many reptiles do you want to own i've always been more the quality over quantity kind of guy so i definitely uh, will not plan on getting too many reptiles basically um, as much as i can handle is the golden rule here so right now i have three and i'm planning on getting some more in the near future and i also might move therefore i definitely have to keep that in mind isn't jane a little thin as far as i know bones are supposed to have the shape of a bread loaf and jane definitely meets those qualities and is in a rather good shape. I definitely make sure that she is. She is fed by the way every month and is absolutely healthy and I'll make sure that she will stay this way. Also I encountered a boa in the wild in Costa Rica and this one was also more on the slender side but thank you for your concern. Why is it always hashtag conservation? I actually wasn't sure whether anyone would be really reading the hashtags. But yeah, you're right. Conservation is always on Project Reptigate. Uh, so basically, you can always read this one there. And there's a reason for it. Uh, the reason is that it's headed there. So right now, I know I'm not really contributing anything to conservation but uh, this is the whole and sole purpose of Project Reptigate getting there and yeah I can't tell you when it's gonna happen but eventually it will and I'm doing everything that it does what is your dream reptile as some of you know I'm a boa guy to and fro so technically, I already have my dream reptile with Jane. 
However, there definitely is a dream reptile that uh, basically would take the whole reptile hobby to a whole new level and it would be a whole different ball game altogether. And this is, as many of you might dream of as well, um, is a crocodilian, in this case a spectacled caiman, um, because I think they are the most handleable ones that still have a size that is manageable. If you have a huge house or backyard or something uh, where the temperature is right, obviously. But uh, right now in my apartment, I definitely cannot have this. Um, but when I move, I might have the space for it. And then everything's possible. We will see. So this concludes our little Q&A. Thank you very much for all your questions. I hope I answered them to your liking. And should you still have some more or didn't have the chance to ask some, please do so in the comments. I'll try to answer them as truthfully as possible. And if you like what you just saw, make sure to hit that like button, also the subscribe button, as well as the bell, not to miss any future videos. You can also follow the Replicate's journey on Instagram for even more awesome content.